Hello, welcome back to my sick grand heroic guide um, based off of the beta footage and of what we did on beta. So could be some changes when it goes live. There has been a couple of changes to it, um, just so you know. But yeah, what I'll do is I'll just go through the abilities um, as normal and how we did it. You can see that we have marks around the room and that's generally how we did it. Um, so I'll go through, you know, the tank swap and the boss mechanics. It's a relatively straightforward fight, but quite fun. So the tank mechanic is basically a two hit into a one hit and you take the first two as the first tank and then you taunt off. So you can see here he's about to start casting expose. So probably fine for the first hit, second hit use a cooldown. Um, and then once he's cast that twice, he goes on to phase lunge here. Then the other tank needs to take off of you and take that hit. Then you'll just stay tanking like this until the next combo comes in. The current tank takes the two hits and then you taunt back off for that one hit. The next ability is phase blades. Um, essentially it's the main mechanic in the fight you can see here in real time people get marked we run over to a place where we've marked them and then the boss charges to them um, after the boss charges them it leaves um, little shadows or called simulacrums in this case so what we did is we marked an area of the map and we said that anyone that gets uh, the mechanic needs to go over towards this first mark so green and that there should be no one in between the boss and the people on green what they can do is they can form a square so it won't go through any of them either you can see what happens here is um, basically four people are going to get marked and they're going to go over towards green. So there's four people to be marked. There, there, there and there. They're in a nice square. Then what's going to happen is the boss is going to charge individually into each of those people. And anyone that is in the path between those people will also leave a little shadow person behind. So it's very important that there's no one else in that path, okay? What you can see up here now is four shadows that are spawned that are what we're going to use our next ability for, the decimate. Um, to essentially blow up um, and do some raid damage because if you blow them up later on and they're all still up it'll just be too much raid damage essentially. Okay so you get this ability called decimate that is a way of essentially getting rid of these shadows. These shadows do some pulsing damage while they're up and they also do some damage when they die and they leave a pool when they die. So you can see these two guys that I've marked basically they have got it there's also a third what they want to do is there's a decimate line that comes from the boss to them if it goes through a little shadow boy it will destroy him okay. Um, and that's essentially what your aim is, to not have four Shadow Boys up at a time, to try and remove some of them before he does his big AoE at the end of the phase. Okay, so just to be clear, you can see um, what happens. So if I pause it here, you can see the guy stood next to the ads. There's three of them stacked on two. Probably shouldn't be that way, but that's how it is. And then you can see the big lines go out here that would destroy the little Shadow Boys. And then after the little Shadow Boys are uh, destroyed and we move down so we're going towards the next mark you can see that there's two shadow boys stood up and the two pools have formed don't stand in the pools that'll be bad it does a lot of damage okay and then carry on with the fight so just a good thing to see our second rotation of uh, putting the little shadow boys out um, you can see that what we actually do is we all move out to our new mark but two of them stay near the old um, shadow boys what that means is when we get the next decimate um, it'll be really easy to break four and you can plan a cooldown around that because you'll have them all sort of tightly bunched. Um, and then going into the last phase, I'll go through in a second, it means that you'll only have two up essentially, um, so less damage will happen. So you can see them running over. As you can see, we broke more than we anticipated, but it's survivable, so don't panic. You can survive it, just uh, maybe yellow yeah, some cooldowns. So then you have the big old AoE that's basically the reset of the mechanics. You can see here you have a big old circle. You want to run out in any direction. You also probably want a gateway out to make it easier so you're all together. Um, but essentially you do not be in this inner circle. If you're in this inner circle you take even more damage. And for every add that you have up, um, still it will do more damage. Obviously here we had no adds up so it didn't really do anything to us. But ideally you'd want to have two adds up um, and you take some damage. You make sure you get out of the circle. And then you just keep rinse and repeating um, back to your positions, back to keeping a nice square, back to doing two to four at a time and keeping it nice and easy when the uh, AOE goes off later. There's just one mechanic I didn't mention, it's Rain of Arrows. It's pretty self-explanatory. When you see a purple arrow on the floor, don't stand on it. Um, it does quite a bit of damage. It's just a swirly, dodge it. So just a few closing things, basically we chose to do it around the outside in a circle and have people stand in squares. Um, you might find it easier to do it in a different way for your guys, um, but this is just how we found it easiest. It meant that everybody else could kind of stand still and um, just not be on the side of the boss that was facing the outside of the platform. Uh, you can decide how many of the shadows you break at once and obviously it does depend on your players getting there in time. I think that two to three and four is fine. 
But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll put our cooldowns and, and raid plans and everything in the video description as normal. And um, thank you for watching and, and keep watching and I'll keep making them. Thanks. Bye.